I'm not sure how well a garden video is going to work this early in the morning. It's about 7 now, I think. But I thought I'd give it a try since I've got some time. Uh, we got about a half inch of rain last night, a little more than a half inch. So then it was a real nice soaking rain, so that's really going to perk things up a lot. I've been having to put a lot of water on the garden and uh, it'd be nice if I don't have to for a few days. Um, this is my first video. I should have done one earlier, but uh, things are looking pretty good right now. So, And I haven't picked much, so I thought this would be a good time to start. Um, right here up front, I have some tomato plants growing right under these strings. Um, they've been here for a while, and it took them a while to really start growing. I don't know if they just didn't have enough water. I was watering them, but maybe they still didn't have enough. Um, and it kind of looked like some deer may have eaten them off at one point too, but they're kind of recovering now and, and growing. I think they're cherry tomatoes, and I'll be training them up these strings as they get bigger. These hills here and all the way to the other end are various kinds of squash, um, winter squash, summer squash, um, like zucchinis, um, just different things. And then next to them here are some different kinds of beans. Um, I've got some like red kidney beans, some other bush beans, uh, or dry beans um, that you shell out for chili and things like that. Um, there are also some uh, black-eyed peas type beans in there. I guess they're not technically beans, I guess they're technically a pea, but I just use them like beans. Um, these right here are some broccoli plants. I got these at Wagner's at uh, 30th and State a while back. I've got some of my own too, but I wasn't sure how they were coming along, so I picked up a few there and put these here. This this was actually another type of bean originally, but they didn't come up, so I put these here instead. Um, I started out the year planting a lot of old seed that was two or three years old. Some of it came up, some of it didn't. So where things didn't come up, I've been filling in with newer seed that I bought or with plants. This spot right here is where the chickens like to come over and dust themselves every day. Um, I had it planted to something, but they killed it out, so I've just left it, just left them this spot. Um, gives them a place to dust themselves, and that way they don't go and uh, tear up other parts of the garden. Um, so I just abandoned that spot to them, and hopefully it keeps everything else safe. Uh, this first row here is beans. Um, I thought they were a bush bean but like a, like the contender variety but they sure look like they're going to climb so i think i'm going to have to stick a couple fence posts in the ground here and put a little bit of trellis between them for these beans to climb on uh, down here at the end is a bush squash at least i hope it's a bush squash because otherwise it'll be way too crowded i mean i think it's like a scallop like a scallop squash some kind of summer squash i'm pretty sure uh, behind that, I've got just kind of some different things. Um, this first row right here is probably cabbage with some radishes mixed in. I planted radishes along with a lot of other stuff just because the radishes come up early. Um, they let you see where the row is really quickly, and then you can pick the radishes and get them out of the way before the other plants comes along. So that's a mix of radishes and cabbage. I think it's cabbage. So if it is, I'm going to have a lot of cabbage to transplant out to other parts of the garden once I have some more space. Um, behind it there is turnips. There were radishes in with them too, but I think I've got, I think I've picked all of them at this point. Um, so that's the, the turnip row there. And they're, they're looking really good. I'm looking forward to getting some of those pretty soon. Um, the next to the turnips, there are carrots. And then this over here looks like more turnips. I must have had two, two kinds of turnip seed. So turnips and carrots, some more radishes. Um, some, of these, some of these rows had lettuce planted that didn't come up, and so the radishes came up, and so I'm just treating them like radish rows since the, the rest didn't make it. None of my lettuce made it. It was all old seed, and I guess it just was a little too far past its time. Uh, these rows here are peas, I guess four rows of peas. Um, the only problem with the peas this year, they came up really well. The only problem was that my 
uh, shell pea seed and my edible potted peas got mixed together and so I had to just plant them together which means I'll have to just shell them all out just treat them all as regular peas I won't have any edible potted ones uh, I might get some more edible potted seed and plant those for fall because I really like those but there's really no way to tell which is which at this point so I'll have to just treat them all as dry peas um, right next to the peas here I had a row of onion plants um, you can still see a few like that one there um, I got them at Keller's and they were kind of the last that they had on sale and they were very very dry so most of them were, were dead and didn't make it but a few are still there and then I filled in the row with uh, some cabbages where there weren't any onions stuck some more cabbage plants there um, these onions are from sets from Keller's and they've done a lot better I generally do have better luck with sets but I thought I'd try some plants too and they're I think they're all three colors white red and, and yellow uh, next to the onions I have potatoes um, I won't be eating a lot of potatoes myself this year I don't suppose but I might trade them to some friends that grow something I don't like cucumbers and they should be they're blooming now or some of them have started to bloom now so it shouldn't be too long a few weeks before I'm ready to, to start digging them um, this area is kind of where I planted the earliest early stuff with old seed and so a lot of it didn't come up um, right here in front of me is a, a volunteer potato that came up just from one that was left in the ground last year so it's a little ahead of the other potatoes um, there I have some looks like broccoli uh, pl those are plants from Wagner's that I filled in after some other things didn't come up here um, and amongst the broccoli there's there's a pepper plant I think that's probably a it's either a jalapeno or an ancho pepper um, I don't I guess I didn't grow any just regular green peppers this year because I don't really use them but I'll use some of the the milder hot peppers for salsa or something like that uh, this is a couple of turnips that made it from the early seed they didn't come up very well uh, this is beets again from the early seed they did real well and next to them swiss chard which is one of my favorite plants um, don't remember if i've ever talked about that on the blog before i might have to do that this year and put a couple of recipes up or something um, I really like Swiss chard because it starts early lasts late in the year it really never bolts at least around here you can just use it you can use it for several months um, and quite a ways into the winter if you don't get a hard frost so it's uh, it really produces a lot and uh, I really and, and it's good so and it's one of those things that it's hard to buy at the store because it doesn't last very long once you pick it so it's just something I really like growing all around um, this is some green beans that I planted later on to fill in these spots where things didn't come up um, hopefully these are bush beans uh, over there is I would say that's probably broccoli um, at this point that's what it's looking like I had broccoli cauliflower and cabbage all planted over here in this area originally and some of it came up some didn't and so I don't remember which was which I just figured once they got bigger I'd be able to tell so they're not they're not too far off being able to tell um, a few more pepper plants over there uh, right here is a pea, or I think two pea plants I had just a few old pea seeds and planted them and those two are the only ones that came up so I've actually picked about six pea pods so far not really enough to do anything with but that was my early early pea harvest there's a dog in the way uh, this is the asparagus row I planted it last year and so this is year two for it I didn't get to harvest any this year next year hopefully there will be some ready that I can go ahead and at least have a little of it um, this year just it wasn't uh, mature enough yet but there's there's some decent sized stalks in there so I think I should get to pick some next year um, usually takes at least two maybe three years for asparagus to get going before you start using it 
that little row there that's kind of weedy is strawberries. Uh, I had more strawberries originally, but last year when things kind of got got out of hand with weeds, they got choked out, and so that's what I have left. I put them all into one row, and after they run her out, I'll, I'll spread some of the runners around and, and build up at least a row that comes over here to my feet. Um, so this is just kind of empty space right now, waiting for that. Um, this corner over here of the garden is the last stuff that I planted, the most recent things. So a lot of it isn't up yet, and you can probably see some grass coming up out there, so I need to get out there and start hoeing before too much longer. Um, but some things are starting to come up here. Uh, they're pretty small, so you probably can't see much, but I'd say see, there's, there's a row going across. And it's probably mostly radishes at this point, because I think I sprinkled radishes in with things in this row. So I'll have to thin those out pretty soon while I'm weeding. Um, this is my herb area, which doesn't amount to much right now. I just have oregano and sage here, some old plants from a couple years ago. And uh, that's some of the stuff I have planted out in this new area is herbs too. So it's old seeds, so I don't know which ones which ones will come up, but I'm waiting to see because that's, uh, that's something I'd like to have more of. Uh, there, I think, is a row of beans planted out here beyond the herbs, but and a mole went down this row, and I'm kind of wondering whether he just went right down the row and ate all the bean seed because I thought they'd be up by now. But I'll have to give them a few more days and see, especially after this rain. And this last row here along the edge is sweet potatoes. This might work better if I get the sun behind me. Um, there's one, for instance. Uh, sweet, one row of sweet potato plants. And there's actually a volunteer regular potato right here that I could probably dig just about any time. Um, that's another one that came up from a left behind potato last year. And that's almost everything. This is the bean plants from the other, or the bean rows from the other end. And you can see a couple of, I think, I think these are probably broccolis that I stuck in here. It's looking like I'm going to have a ton of broccoli um, and a ton of cabbage, which I wouldn't mind either one. Um, some more of the squash plants here at the other end. Um, and I do have a couple of hills of melon plants over in the new area. Can't really see them yet. They're just starting to poke through. So I think that's... I think they're both a cantaloupe type melon. Or one of them might be a watermelon. I don't remember for sure. It was just some more, some more old seed that I had that I thought I'd stick in the ground and see how it does. Um, along the trellis over here, the trellis isn't finished yet. I have to pick up some more twine. But I got the back and forth side to side strings put up and then you can see there in the middle I got the up and downs up for the beans to start climbing on. Um, down here these beans are a lot newer. I think these are a green bean and so they're not starting to climb yet but they will be before too long so I have to get the trellis finished this week. And then these beans down here that are climbing they are um, they're a lima bean a, lar a large uh, climbing lima bean and then some of them all the way down here are a purple bean, a purple climbing bean, so um, a few different things along there. And most of those, most of the climbing stuff is, uh, well the, the lima beans anyway, they're a long, a long season crop so they'll be one of the last things I pick before fall probably and I'll let them dry on the vine if I can. It's been going pretty well so far this year, other than needing to water a lot. Um, I've been able to stay stay ahead of the weeds, and the dry weather actually probably helped with that. Um, the main the main weed out here is grass. Uh, the grass from that used to be here as lawn is always trying to come back, so it'll take a long time to really kill that out. But so far, I've been staying ahead of it and putting in half an hour to an hour every evening, just weeding and hoeing and kind of puttering around out here. So I see a couple weeds right here next to this squash. So especially when it's not too hot, it's pretty pleasant to be out here. It's 
So I think that's everything for this time. Um, in another week or two, maybe I'll be pulling some turnips and and uh, picking some Swiss chard and maybe some more peas and some things like that to eat, and, and I can take another video of it then. So thanks for watching and listening.